Hey orange one here. So in this video I want to show you how to get a base setup. I found a decent spot right here to get a base setup and I'll show you how I know it's a decent spot um, as well as what I think is the bare essentials for getting a base started. So like I said in a previous video you can do prospecting right here and it'll give you a decent idea of what the resources are like around you. So we've got right here a fair amount of iron, some copper, and some stone, as well as pretty good fertility. I mean, it is the desert, so it's going to be low in water. But as far as we're concerned, this spot is pretty nice. So the first thing you need to do if you're going to build a base, unless you want to be bringing in a ton of materials, is you're going to need to get mining started. So if you get a mine, a stone mine and stone processor, um, it takes three building materials and six iron plates to get started and realistically that's all you need to start a base because everything else can be built from that um, maybe well actually you're gonna need an iron refinery as well so I have right here an iron resource and I've got tons of stone around here so let's go ahead and make a stone mine I think we've got 100% around here nearby. Okay, 100. Pretty much 100 right there. Okay, let's get a stone mine built. It's right now saying we don't have the materials, but Stinks has materials. So if I go ahead and right click with people on this construction job, they should all turn to engineers, which we're going to need if we're going to be building a base at least. It'll be nice to have everyone on engineering because they'll just make things go faster. And I think that's everyone, yeah. It looks like everyone's working on that. So we get this going and it'll take just a minute. Let's assign three people to that. So you, you, and let's go with you. You guys are all going to be working on the mine. And I actually want you guys just working on that before you do any engineering, if you can. And who was the third one? You are. That way they don't get interrupted by other jobs that we get set up. And so now we've got three people out of three people working on here. So it's going to make stone, raw stone um, pretty fast. And I had the building materials already on uh, Stinks, so that got built pretty easily. We're going to need also a stone processor. I have iron plates in my Garu, so I need to go get those out. Let's go ahead and get that set up. And the Garu... Um, orange one, do you have... I think you got space, yeah. So let's go ahead and get those iron plates from the Garu. Three. I think that's actually exactly what we... No, that's not exactly what we need. Oran, why don't you go trade with the Garu as well? And that should be more than enough. Okay, so we got these two or three working over there. Gecko, maybe I'll have you stand over there so it's actually clear who's doing what. So let's get a few people on working on the refinery. That way they'll be making building materials from the raw stone as it's being made. So we've got basically building materials coming in pretty fast now. If I wanted to I could also get some people working on iron, but I don't need iron plates anytime soon. The first thing that I like to do once I get building materials started up is I like to actually build a building. Obviously if you don't bring some building materials you're going to have to wait a little while for your stockpile to build up. But I did bring a ton so we've got plenty. I like starting off with a storm house. Uh, mostly because the small shack you can't even get a decent research station in. The storm house works out pretty nicely, but you do need to do research for this. But if you watched my previous video on getting a little base set up, um, 
or prepped for a base, then you should have these materials with you. The stinks has the materials to get started on this. Once he gets those in there, people will start prioritizing that. And then I'm actually going to just get a few more of the building materials that we've got coming out. I think we should have enough to get this built. But yeah, we these guys will be making building materials for us. We've got some iron, um, or sorry, raw stone building up, and then this should make more for us. Oh, and look, we're getting attacked. This is why you need to have a decent number of people before you try and build a base, because you will get attacked in your construction, or while you're trying to do construction. If you have the people, it's good to have at least one person um, working on the manual stone processor to keep this going. And we should be done with this pretty soon. Sorry, one of my characters got enslaved on my way over here. Okay, yeah, we've got everything that we need, so now we have a house. And this is like pretty close to the bare essentials that you're gonna need. Because now, Orange One, who has a bounty, we can have him just like hide in here. And Mortez, he's unconscious, but we could pick him up and, and anyone else and put them in here. And, uh,. People should respect oh, should respect that this is our settlement and not try and uh, enslave them. People will enslave you if people are just unconscious in the sand, so it's just in your best interest to get building built right away. But now we can start doing some of the really interesting stuff. So orange one I believe had cloth and Stinks has some building material, I think. We're about to make another one. But let's go ahead and get those, as well as that other cloth. Because we're going to want to get some beds built. I like to build beds as soon as I've got building up. Essentially because it allows you to heal up faster, and as you can tell, we're going to get attacked in this process. So if we go to interiors, and we go to bed, we can build, I think, two of them. I'll build one there and one just a little bit over so that people can actually get into these beds. You do want to give them a little bit of space. But we should have the materials to do that. And these are way better than sleeping bags because sleeping bags, I think, give a uh, times four healing speed, whereas uh, beds give a times eight, which is really nice. And then gecko, we can get gecko on one of these beds once it's made. And look, we're still making building materials if we need them. Okay, we've got one bed stinks. Why don't you put down Gecko on there? Oh. oh, Gecko's starving. That's our problem. Okay, so we got a little bit of healing. We got some building materials coming in. And it's actually kind of appropriate that we saw someone just passed out from star starvation because the next thing is getting food up and running. And then we'll be almost set up. Um, you only really need 10 of a crop, but I would recommend bringing more if you can, because if you have more food, you can produce more food. So I'm just going to get a 10 set up right now. I have tons more. I'm just going to get that set up right there, but it's going to need water. And so I could get a rain collector set up on my roof because I have that technology, but most people probably won't have that technology. They'll have a well, so I'll need a well as well. Is there 12% uh, over here? Yeah, let's go for that. It's probably going to be a little while, though, before we're able to um, get all the materials, so I might make a cut here.
that ton of cactus. We've got more than enough to get started on the construction of the bed. And we should be able to get iron plates from the Garu. I think I brought enough. We just need to... Oh, don't pick them up. Trade with them. Yeah, we got enough iron plates to get that up and going. We just need the building materials. Oh, and look, we're getting attacked again. So our food is almost good to go. I'm just going to speed this up. I don't even really care. These guys are so much weaker than me, I don't have to micromanage. But if you are having to micromanage, what I would always recommend doing is checking these guys and taking their weapons. Oh look, the tax man's already coming for us. Which brings me actually to my next point. While these guys are working, you have to have some money saved up. Because you're going to get, if you're set up in some places, almost everywhere, um, you'll get taxed by at least one faction. So I've got the United Cities, which are going to tax me, and also the Traders Guild. Okay, are we... I think that we'll be able to get this building material in soon. Oh no, Ethel died from starvation. Yeah, I should have micromanaged a little bit better. If you need to, you can always hunt Garus for food. Why don't you guys help out with this construction if you can? Oh, we're gonna get attacked. Anyone else about to starve? Gecko is pretty hungry. I don't think he's gonna die though in this video. I might make a little cut though here because I'm not sure what else I need to include. Okay, so the taxman just arrived here, which means we gotta we gotta pay our due, or else they're gonna come back and. They're going to come back with a lot of super strong units. So if you don't pay these guys, it's not a good idea. And they'll increase the amount that you have to pay them. So you, you want to, I'd say, 10k saved up at any given time. But if you pay them off, you'll be fine. Okay, these guys are almost done with this, so we almost have water. So let's just cut a little bit ahead and we'll see what what else we need to do. Alright, so our well just got constructed. What I need to do next is assign someone to the farm. If I do something like this, if there's any engineering, Oran will help. If not, he'll water the, uh, the garden. So this is going to... Well, for me, this is a upgraded one, so it needs power. But... If you have, I think it's Wells 1, you don't need power, It's you need like a person working it. So by assigning Oran to do this automatically, we'll, uh, we'll get water from here and it will get delivered there. So that's this is the bare essentials of having a fort, but really what you want to do is have some walls around it. So I'm just going to plan out some walls right now, and then I'll show you what they look like in a little bit. These are actually, they're not the makeshift walls, these are the defensive walls, so they're going to take some more resources for me than they would do um, for someone actually with just makeshift walls. So one thing to keep in mind with walls is the blue arrows are pointing outside, like that thing just said. So this is outside over here, and this is inside. So I'm going to get these set up like so. Um, I like to just have it be a nice unit. Yep, like that. And let's do to like right, right there. I'm going to confirm that. And there's a reason for them, the why I'm doing it kind of weird like that. I'm going to put the gates down. Right here. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, like right there. And then we'll keep on wrapping the wall around. 
I don't need a lot of space right now because we're just starting off, so I'm going to wrap it around like so. And it pretty much auto connects there. There we go. So I'll probably make a cut here and show you what the final result looks like when they're done working on this. So one other thing that I forgot to mention was that you get these uh, farm traders and other traders that come by. Um, these guys are hivers, so I don't know if they're going to talk to this guy because he's hive. Oh, they do. So they've got no problem if they come to us, because usually if you go to a hive settlement, they won't trade with you if you are a no hive hiver. So these guys have um, like what will grow in your area. So we've got cactus, wheat, and hemp, all of which will grow in our biome here. Um, we don't really need anything, but it's good to know that these guys do come by. We do act, I'll take the building materials just because we are kind of short on that. But aside from that, we don't need anything, so those guys can leave. But we've got another um, caravan coming by, and it's also important to note that I'm sending orange ones to go get more building materials as from a city. I also built a campfire here which Stinks could probably get the food from, and then it'll get distributed because it'll go into his backpack. Yep, people will eat that. So things are... it's going. It's going kind of slow. Um, so we could build another mine if we wanted to. I'm just going to send Orange one out to another city. I'm sending him down to have to get more building materials here because I know that there's a trader somewhere around here that will have them. And... I'm being a little bit lazy and get just buying instead of building it because I have the cash. Actually, oh, this is. I kind of bugged this area out because we've been here and I think I killed the owner. So let's close that and I'm just going to take the building materials. So I'll see you in a little bit. Right, so as you can see the traders got here, so let's see what they got for us. Because I think they'll have building materials. No, no building materials. Meow. They do have some electrical components and some books. I mean, I would recommend getting books if you need technology, which also reminds me, we never um, built a research bench. So let's go ahead and get that set up so that we can do some research from here. Because that is something that you'll want for your starter base. It's not like your first priority, but it should be on your list of priorities. And as you can see, a research bench 2, or even 3, 4, or 5, those can all fit on this building. That's a big reason why I went for that building. And keep in mind, if you're doing makeshift walls, this process is going to go a lot faster because it takes half as many materials. Alright, well, I'm going to make another cut, and I'll show you what I do next. Alright, so here's the base. It's done. It's fully walled off, and I would recommend doing that so that people can only come in and out of this gate. I, realistically, I would do more for this space. Um, one thing being that I would actually get the water going for this base, and I would get some crafting stations set up in indoors down here so um, that would probably be what I would, all I would do for this uh, this character this um, base so I'd get a weapons smith either here or up on the top and also a armor station as well probably wouldn't get heavy armor because that takes a fair amount of research but proper, probably a leather armor crafting station, and um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that down here. We might need to go upstairs for some of this. But yeah, a leather 
Another armor crafting and tanning station because in the desert you've got a ton of garu around which means that you can get a ton of leather for basically free and all you need to do is buy is cloth or if you get hemp then you can um Am I able to fit that there? Wow, I am. So I'd get those things crafted. And then... It's pretty straightforward from there. You can just get cloth from stores, or if you can get hemp, there's a hive... Um, some hive villages up here that you can get hemp from, which is pretty close to here. Or, I mean, you could go all the way down to the swamps, but in this location, it's good to just go up to the hives and buy from them. And you'll get more than enough of what you need. So if you get some armor crafting going and some weapon crafting going, that'd be good. But to get armor made, you're going to need also some people working on the iron resource and a iron refinery. Um, where is it? Is it mining? Yeah. Iron refinery. Get an iron refinery going. That'll take some iron plates. I think we've got enough iron plates to do this. I just need to get them from the Garu. Let's give them the building materials because we don't need those and we'll take all of those iron plates. And once you've got the iron industry going and the um, armor, leather armor going, I think that's the bare essentials of getting a simple base setup. I mean, you'll have some food, you'll have some armor and some crafting going on. You got a research bench, and you got a little farm. And if you need to expand on the base, you just kind of knock down a wall and expand it out. And before you know it, you'll have a giant settlement. So thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.